Hi there, this is Jason Semeliano from Smarter Incorporated again here to bring you yet another TIBCO application development tutorial. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to query a database table, and the title of that tutorial was Query Database Table. In today's tutorial, I'd like to develop that tutorial a little bit more by showing you how to query a database table with parameters and what that means is simply that your select statement, your SQL statement that queries a database table contains a WHERE clause and you would like to pass parameters into that WHERE clause. This is a very important topic for querying databases using TIBCO Designer or any programming languages you might use. So let's move on to this tutorial to query a database table with parameters. Again, let's move over to TIBCO Designer. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to query a database with a very, very simple select statement. And all that was was select all from book. And it returned all the books from the book table in the database, the Oracle database. So we're going to develop this and add a WHERE clause today. And I'm going to add a parameter so that you'll learn how to add parameters in your queries. So let's move on to that tutorial. Follow along with me. It's really important that you follow along. Otherwise, it's not going to be a, an optimal learning experience for you if you just watch. So do your best to follow along. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the SQL statement in the configuration tab of the JDBC query activity and what I'm going to do is I'm going to only query records that are old that are younger than the year 2000 and let me show you the data so that that makes so that it makes a little bit more sense let's go over to the data this is the book table in the Oracle database what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a WHERE clause in my SQL statement so that only these two records are returned. You see number two and number three. They are 2006, year 2006, and year 2008. So I'm going to add a WHERE clause in my SQL statement to make that happen. So that means any book older than the year 2000 will not be included in the result set. You with me? All right. Let's go back to TIBCO Designer and let us add a WHERE clause here. WHERE year is greater than the then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a question mark there. You see that? Now what does that question mark mean? That signifies that that you can pass a parameter to that. And that will make sense as we move on to the next tab here and you'll see that in a little bit as you can see when I added that question mark I now have this exclamation point here do you see this this exclamation point that's a warning that there is an incompatibility in your statement that means you have a parameter here so but you don't have a parameter defined down here so what you need to do is you need to click on this button here add a new item to the table and that will represent the parameter and I always recommend that you give it the same name as the field so we're going to call this year click apply so now you are you will now be able to pass a parameter for this where clause because of this question mark let's move on to the input tab you will now notice that it is now red whereas in a previous tutorial it was not red you now have this year parameter that you will need to pass a value to now you can pass a value from a previous activity if you like but in this case to keep it simple we're just going to hard code the value in here so I'm just going to hard code 2000 so what this means is that this get books activity this JDBC query should render the SQL statement select all from book 
where a year is greater than 2,000 when it hits the database, when it finally executes the process definition. Because I passed the value of 2,000 to the parameter called year. And I was able to create that year parameter by, again, this is important, by putting the question mark in my SQL statement and then having a corresponding prepared parameter that corresponds to that question mark. Are you with me? All right. So what this will do is it should query only, it'll only return records that are younger than the year 2000. Any books older than the year 2000 should be excluded in the result set. Okay? So, as always, we should always click fetch when we are using a JDBC query activity. If you look at your output, you should still have this nice structure here in your output. So what I'm going to do is apply and save. And what do we do now? Remember from a previous tutorial, we're supposed to click on a white space to deselect the any of the activities and then click on this validate resource to make sure that your process is ready to be executed and there are no design time problems. And as you can see here, resource was successfully validated. So we are now ready to run this process definition. So what we do is we go to the tester tab and then we click on this button, this green button to start the testing. And then I'm going to click on load and start current on this dialog box. And it executed. If you take a look at the JDBC query activity, you will notice in the output, let's make Let's maximize this so you'll see. You'll notice now that only two books instead of three were returned. And the year for this one is 2006 and the year for this one is 2008. You'll notice that this book here from the database from 1998 was excluded in the result set. And why? Because we parameterized, parameterized our query and we passed the input of 2000 into the year parameter. You got it? So that's all you have to do in order to query the database table with, with parameters. All you have to do once again is add a question mark and then have a corresponding prepared parameter to that question mark and then you can pass value into that parameter and your JDBC query will execute the SQL statement plus the value that you pass into the parameter. So that's all for today. We will continue to develop our knowledge of TIBCO application development in subsequent tutorials. Again, thank you so much for your support and stay tuned for more tutorials to come. Again, this is Jason Semeliano from Smarter Incorporated. I wish you a wonderful day. Take care.